Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we went surfing around all Sinnoh, and I think we, I, there's still one more spot after we finish the Fuingo Ironworks that I want to show you guys, because I think it's the couple items that might be good that you want to have or something. I could be wrong with it, but there's like one more spot that I remember to, um, you know, uh, check out, you know? There we go, that's the end of my thought. <laughs> and I just said the end of my thought, so there we go. Here's a Kelsey Berries. I didn't pay attention to the first two berries we picked there because I wasn't paying attention. Here's a Weeper, two Weeper Berries. That's cool, I guess. I'm just picking berries for the fun of it, I guess. No, oh shoot, I should put a pearl on. I think I may have put a pearl on at the end of the last part, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to double check right now. Yeah, I'm going to put, yeah, good thing I put a pearl on because I don't want to run into a Pokemon. This is another honey tree. Um, if you go up here, I think there's an item. No, it just, just leads you back to, um, the um, near the turn of forest because up in your top right corner of your screen is um the turn of forest so we don't want to actually jump over those ledges because that'd be bad so i'm pretty sure that's what it was so here's the fuingo ironworks i have um jetta up front and i'm also boss with the experience here i gave the experience here to um bronze because bronze needs to level up you know because i think it's really i think it's really close to evolving i think it's, it's level 31 right now right yeah, and I've also like level 33 or something. Level 30 something. I know that. I'm pretty sure. I'll probably text over, you know, just saying what level it actually evolves at. Because I still need to look that up. Or hopefully it can evolve so I don't have to really look it up. Because I'm expecting it, you know, to soon to evolve soon. So let's take on these Flingo Iron Works, um, workers, I guess you could say. I work at a Red Hot Factory Foundry. Red Hot, Red Hot Foundry. Watch out, I'm on fire. Okay, apparently I forgot that these workers have um, a chop sim, a choke, some of them do. So, yeah. Hmm, puzzle time, okay. So if we go up here, I think that just sends you back. Okay, cool. That's okay, I guess. No, I didn't, no, I didn't want to do that. Now I have to go all the way back around. Are you kidding me? Seriously? That's dumb. I don't like going all the way back around when I don't need to because I stupidly messed up. Okay, here's an item. Um, what is it though? Uh, burn heal, nice, okay. And if we go over here, um, yeah, we have to go out, because this is not to go the right way where we need to get to. Yeah, um, I'll do that. Now let's just go over here. Yeah. We're getting really dizzy. Yeah, here's a trainer, a worker guy. Well, it's not often that we get a visitor like you to you, the ironworks. Let's make the occasion, let's mark the occasion with a bottle. Okay, that worker had a Steelix, which is pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I don't want to go on that down arrow. If I go, that just brings me back around. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go on this arrow right here. And continue our way. Around town. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. And we want to go on to this arrow next. And before we mess with any more arrows, we want to actually just quick, uh, carefully maneuver around here. And there we go. Here's the Firestone. Cool. And we want to go to this down arrow. Now I'm going to have to do this pattern, because I don't remember which arrow does what. Okay, so if I go down to the top arrow, I get to place the worker. If I go to this arrow... I if I go to the third arrow. Yeah, if I go to the third arrow, I can get the item. Hopefully my calculations are right. Nope, they're not. Because the third arrow is a dud. I know that's the wrong arrow now. So 
Let's see, the top or the second arrow? Because I want to get the item and I want to battle the trainer. So let's try the top arrow next, see what that leads us. That leads us to the trainer, okay. Oh, and we can also get the um, item too if we, you know, maneuver around here carefully. So yeah, that's nice. You want to use the top arrow then. He has a rock instance, probably raises the power of rock type moves. I think here's the last worker we can fight in here, so let's take him on. Are you maybe getting an annoyed by what where the four panels take you? No, I'm kind of used to them now. It's been a while since I've actually done this puzzle, but you know. Okay, so there we go. Here's, um, Mr. Fingo, I think. Yeah, Mr. Fingo. Why, hello. Well, hello. It's not often that I get a visitor here. I tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving four tiles, but no one was happy about it. They said the moving fours made them dizzy. Well, of course they do. Uh, but you don't want to listen to me whine. Here's a souvenir. We get the firestone. Another firestone. So we have two firestones now. But if you go over here, here's the TM-35 for a flamethrower. Very worth picking up. And this place is completely optional. It's like a side quest. So you don't have to go through, you don't even have to touch this building or go in it to, um, it's not required to beat the game basically. You have to, that you have to go in this building. This is completely optional. So let's teach Flamethrower to, um, Inferno. So let's do that right now. So, Flamethrower. Yeah. And. For someone who can learn it anyway. Choose the big out then. Um, let's get rid of uh, Ember. Yeah, Ember is like the weakest link, so yeah. One, two, and poof. Yeah, defeat. Yeah, we learned, forgot Ember, but we uh, Inferno learned Flamethrower. Nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut back. Well, I don't actually have to cut. I can actually just show you guys this. Uh, I'm gonna fly back to Judah Life City though. So that's right here. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick though. I guess all I had to do was heal up um, Jetta's uh, PP, but you know, that's what I did, I guess. So Jetta's now level 36, if you didn't already notice. Like the last couple battles, I think the last battle with the Rapidash and that Ironworker guy, he, um,. Yeah, yeah, Rapidash, and we defeated it, and Jetta grew to level 36. Now, Jetta's the most highest level Pokemon we have on our team. So, yeah. Let's just put Rose up to the front. Because we're going to be facing uh, the route west of, uh, east, yeah, west of um, Jubai City to get to Cantalave City. But first, I want to show you guys a um, place where we can surf again, I guess. Uh, two places, actually, now I think about it. So this first place, because I was talking about in the Ravage Path basically, but we can cover off this, we can cover this real quick. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, that's Psyduck, I fainted it with um, one Mega Drain. But, yeah. Oh, here's the Sea Incense, that raises the power of water type moves. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to put a Repel on, because I know I don't have a Repel on. I had to learn that the hard way again. Yeah, okay, so... Let's go to the next part, where can you surf, which is right here. I don't think there's an item, but there could be an item. I don't know, I haven't really surfed this place that often. Here's an item, of course it's an item, yeah. We got the HP up, nice. So who, what, what Pokemon out of my party has low HP right now? Medicine pocket, we go for the... If I can get there, there we go, okay. Who has low HP? Nine, okay, 85, 90, 86. 9711. Huh. I guess Rose is the. Uh, yeah, Rose is 1 HP lower than um, Bronze. So there you go, another Tide with 86 HP each. Okay, very worth picking up because that 1 HP could help. Because you know how Pokemon could survive by 1 HP. So, you know, you never know when that could happen. Um, here's a Ravage Path again. You also need Rock Smash for this. Okay, and if we go up here, K 
Okay, there's whip path, but I'm gonna show off both of the paths. Just because that would make sense. If you surf on the surfing path, you can get this item, which I don't remember the name of it. It's um, Team with your Water Pulse. Nice. Except, isn't Water Pulse slightly better than uh, uh, Aqua Jet? Let me see. Because I think it is. Yeah, um, Jet, I can learn it. I don't want to teach it to Beck. Aqua Jet's 40, and Water Pulse is 60. But it always goes first. Um, you know what? I'm going to teach Water Pulse to, um, Jetta for now because it's better than Aqua Jet because it's only 40 power. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good pickup. I'm going to do that. <laughs> nice. So now Jetta figure out Aqua Jet, but we want Water Pulse. Nice. Okay. And off to the other side, where the where you see the item that flashed on screen for a second there. Let it fell off, of course it did. Not the honey, the super repel, please. I want to use a super repel. Okay, there we go. Here we go. And we have to smash two rocks there. Take your pick, a luck incense. I forget what, what does that do again? I do this description. Uh, and I'm holding it held by Pokemon. It doubles a battle's prize money if the holder joins in. So this is like the Amulet coin. Doubles the pr doubles the prize money. Hold it in. Oh, okay. Um, this is like the Amulet coin in previous games. I mean, I, I always give the Amulet coin to my flying type for some reason, so... Karen doesn't need the Quick Claw anymore, even though it never used the Quick Claw as far as I know. Karen hasn't had any battle time in like like five episodes or something like that. Jeez. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Let's use another escape rope though. I don't want to go all the way back, so I'll use an escape rope because I'm lazy. There we go. I'll buy an escape rope at the Mart actually. So yeah, we can um get out of here. I think it's nighttime now. Cause it's a little darker <laughs> and you can go to the Pokemon and buy some items let's sell some items first let's see um don't want to sell any of those items pp up i could use that i guess yeah i'll use that um I don't think I need so many items actually. So that's good. Okay, so now we can buy Ultra Balls. I'll actually just wait on that actually. With balls and puck balls. Okay, yeah. Potions, we can buy a couple more. Super potions. We'll buy like a five more, I guess. Hyper potions. Let's buy five of those. Revives. Let's buy five of those. Is there full heals now? Yeah. I'd rather sell all my other items um, for half price. I mean, I always do that, but that's not always good financially because you never know when, like, you can be invisibly poisoned or individually paralyzed and stuff like that. So, yeah. Actually, I don't think I need um, full heals because I have like almost every healing item, so I'll skip out on that actually. Okay, escape ropes will buy two more, I guess. Just have one bag. Uh, Max repels. Um, 
I think super pills were more efficient, but I could be wrong. I think I'll, for one sec, she was on the map when he says, Hey, super pills are for $200, 200 pocket dollars cheaper, and map pistol word, and uh, it, it's only for like, and you only get, you're paying $200 more, 200 pocket dollars more to get 50 more steps, because 200 and 250 in the description. Like 200 steps, 250 steps for max appeal, 200 steps for super pills. So I'm gonna actually just buy more super pills and actually just try to see if that saves me more money, which it probably will, to be honest. So just buy that 12, I guess. Let's buy more than that, actually. Five more. Let's buy 30. Yeah, 30 is good. 30 is good for now. 30 is a good number. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Pokecatch Company. Since I have five gym badges now, every odd, I think if you get like one, your first gym badge you have, this third gym badge, three badges you have, five badges, and then seven badges, you'll get this, uh, the presidents will come up with a new Pokecatch app. So yeah, hi, hi. Patience is a warrior. Yeah, I need to put a new Pokecatch app. We got the Mugging map, which I'll show on right now, I guess. Yeah, so I can mug things so it's useful. Okay, let me show this. It's right here. Yeah, that's the bear searcher. Here's the marking map, so you can like take these shapes and like mark them, I guess. Which is kind of cool, I guess, but I'll skip out on that. So yeah, it's just basically that. Okay, let's exit the building and come back in then. Right, pull off, okay. And hi hi, I'm the president of the Pokecatch company. Hi hi, patience is awarded. I've developed yet another Pokecatch app. Yeah, an another new Pokecatch app, Link Searcher, okay. Um, the Link Searcher app determines the availability of Wi-Fi hotspots. Okay, that's just the irony right there. Um, Wi-Fi got disconnected. We all know by now, hopefully, that the, di that the Wi-Fi support was dropped for Pokemon Diamond Pearl and Platinum. Yeah, okay. Um, people communicating like the Union Room, okay. So again, if I go to my Bob screen, link searcher, tap the button to communication, searching for wireless communications, and it's searching, uh, nothing in the Union Room, nothing in the Underground, nothing in the Coliseum, and nothing in the other links. That kind of thing, it's gonna like, keep on trying to, you have to stand still apparently, but it's gonna keep on trying to find signals and stuff, but, I'll just, it's not of use anymore because, you know, it, um, the Wi-Fi is dropped for the support for these games, so that stinks. Okay, um, I'm pressing the pocket gym, I'm doing new apps, but that one's not quite done. So we have to come back when we have seven gym badges, and I think it's the uh, Move Tester app. We'll, we'll tell you, like, what types match up against what types, like, so what's super effective and what's not super effective, what's not very effective. So yeah. So let me switch back to my favorite app. Okay, there we go. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Here's Route 218, and we can actually surf and actually take on this route. But this has been the number of Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. The next part will take on Route 218 and hopefully get to Cantaloupe City and do stuff there, I guess, too. So yeah, this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank for watching again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.